Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, today is mail call. I've got the third bag of goodies from AliExpress. So if you've been following the channel the last couple of days, I've done the first two bags. This is the third bag. So um, we're just going to open it up and have a look at the various bits and pieces over here on the bench. And then once that's done, we'll uh, we'll post the video. Um, and I'm going to be getting on with the inaugural mini project, the JCAR silicon chip mini projects. So uh, looking forward to that. And I've got a um, I've got a, a new book teardown coming up as well. That's the uh, the uh, electrical engineering uh, 101 everything you should have learned in school but probably didn't so looking forward to having a look at that with you soon um, but today is just now call just having a look at the bag of stuff from China so uh, let's pop over to the bench and have a look at it here we are on the bench so uh, let me just chop open this bag Alright. Well, aren't those enormous? When I ordered them, I had no idea they would be that big. Three piece yellow. So, uh, yeah, these are brushes, but they're great big honking brushes, aren't they? That one's kind of reasonable. Wow. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. So, they should um, go into my. Drill, yeah, there we go. Scrub, scrub a dub dub. Got one, uh, and two, and three. All right, well, <coughs> they're kind of large. Where am I going to keep these? I'll have to think about it. But for now, we're going to sleep them over here. All right, what's next? Oh, there we go. Some tape. Uh, very good. The tape that I really need to get actually is some more uh, gaffer tape. More gaffer tape. But uh, yeah, this silver tape looks like it's pretty good. Very sticky. There we go. Okay, good stuff. So where are we going to keep that? We'll think about that. Now, what's next? That looks like a Leonardo to me. It's an Uno R3. Very good. And Uno R3 comes with a, a USB Type B for power. Very good. And just popping out of the, the bag. So, uh, that's the uh, the R3. It came with some pin header. Oh, two lots of pin header. One's a bit damaged. All right. Well, oh, that's a bit damaged as well there. Do you see? That pin header's been smacked. There we go. Yeah, that's actually uh, quite damaged. Yeah, all right. Well, um, uh, this is not quite the right tool for the job, but I reckon it'll do. There we go. All right. Um, I'm going to file the header and the USB cable. So. Might as well show you. This is my uh, my pin header box. So just a little bit more pin header there. Now my USB cameras are uh, cables uh, off the back. Here. So I'll just put the USB cable away. And I'll put these back. Knocking all the <laughs> knocking all the equipment off table. Oh dear me. Alright. Now, 
Uh, uh, I'm just looking for my uh, Unos. So uh, these are the other Arduino Uno R3s that I have. So those two look uh, pretty much identical, don't they? And then there's this one. Uh, looks very similar, but uh, not identical. So uh, will that fit in there? It will. All right, so there's three Unos, very good. And up next, what have we got here? This is Leonardo. Very good. I think I'm going to uh, install the, because uh, I've got uh, um, um, Arduino Mega, Arduino Uno, and this is Arduino Leonardo. So I'm going to keep them up there on the, uh, Oh, that's interesting. The Leonardo comes with a, a micro, not a, a B. Very interesting. Um, so I'll I'll, um, I'll make a draw for this particular one uh, later on. So now I guess I could just put it in. So there's a Leonardo. It's a knockoff. Uh, and then there's a USB cable. Alright, what have we got next? This ESP32 development board. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I don't know. I'm not sure what we've got there. Fascinating. So this is the uh, the micro, and this is just the um, the the uh, breakout board, I guess you'd call it. Very cool. All right. Well, that was uh, um, uh, this one. ESP32 development board, Type-C micro USB, CP2102 Wi-Fi, plus Bluetooth, dual-core ESP32, dev kit C32, ESP, W room 32 expansion board, 30 pins, color one set. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut the label off this guy. Sure, where we're going to file that, but uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, that Uno. Uh, I'll put this label in in with it. Why not? Alright, and I suppose we might as well get the uh, the Leonardo label as well. Uh, 
There's Leonardo. And right now, just put that uh, uh, Uno label in with the Unos. And uh, we're going to have the ESP32 that can go in there. And um, the Leonardo can go in there. And uh, might as well just grab a. Um, silica gel for the. Uh, for the ESP32, very good. Alright. Oh, what's this? This is a TFT display. Excellent. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> Not sure where we'll keep it yet. Uh huh. We've got a uh, six piece wire brush set made in China one of the things has come loose there so let's see if we can take him out and we don't want that wire going astray so let's just bin that while we can All right. now there's one uh, <coughs> One um, paper clip, no, not paper clip, staple. There we go. All right. So uh, we'll put this uh, paper back in in the. Uh, in the scrapbook that I keep. Now these goldy ones and these silvery ones. And the silvery ones are, are um, harder than the, the gold ones. The gold ones are a bit softer. Excellent. Well, put uh, one of them in there and one of them in there. And then we've got four more and they can go I don't know, I'll think about I'll think about it. Let's leave him there for now. I'm not gonna need this. Aha, uh -huh. some cloth. Very good. Uh, I'll uh, I'll cut off the label for the uh, for the scrapbook. They're enormous, aren't they? There we go. They're great big blue cloths. Now, cloths are kept down here. Uh, there's my, my cloth box. So, uh, I guess we'll have to take all of them and keep them up there and make the room in the middle for the big blue ones. Uh, fair enough. Keep the chucks up the back there, that's fine. Chucks up the back, blue in the middle, other scrappy bits here in the front. Looks good to me. Ripper. And this 500 piece plastic nylon flat washer. Okay. So we've just got some washers here by the looks of it. Pop that open. See if we can get in there with the scissors. 
In we go. Snip, snip, snip. All right. Yep. Nylon washers, just like it said on the tin. I'm just going to uh, cut out the label for the scrapbook. And in we go. Wonderful. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. All right. So there we go. 500 piece white washer set. Nylon washer. Oh, it won't open. Why won't it open? Oh, it's taped together. All right. I'll have to just remove that tape. Uh, let's get a little spudger. Screwdriver will do. There we go. All right. Well, I got a little bit of it off. There we go. There we go. Off it comes. There it is. All right. So we got our little bit of sticky tape off so it should open up now hopefully perfect all right that's our nylon washer set they're very small to really quite big excellent 500 pieces wow chop 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 yep sponges So, that's just a little foam sponge. I don't know if they'll soak up water. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. So, uh, okay. Looks like we've got uh, diodes. Look like diodes. Uh, K15RD, 8 values, 200 pieces. Okay. So I'm popping out there. That's that there. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's cut the uh, sticker off for the uh, scrapbook. And there's a bit of tape here, just going to take that off. Off it comes. Oh, now we don't want to. Uh, Okay, that's going to tear off the label, and we don't want that. So, let me just get my little uh, craft knife here, and I'm just going to cut that along the edge there. And that ought to come off there. Yes, very good. Alright. So, um, those are scrapbook things. These 200 pieces IN4074148 5819 5399 5408 5822 FR107 and FR207. So that's eight different types of uh, eight different types of diode. So, uh, okay. Uh, how are we going to do this? Wow. Ah. Well. I, uh, I don't know. So it says we've got eight types. I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure if I believe him. Wow. 
What do we reckon? These are presum presumably all the same because they're all on the same thing. I was expecting those. There's FR107 and FR. Oh, okay. Okay, what are we dealing with? I'm not sure yet. These are probably the IN4007s. And these are probably the IN4148s. The 70 piece and the 70 piece. And then there's 10 pieces of everything else. Wow. Alright. Is it 10 pieces of everything else? It is. So everything else is 10 pieces. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause the video for a bit and I'm going to jump over on the computer and I'm going to figure out what the codes are. Um, for each of these types of uh, diode uh, and once we got that figured out we can file them appropriately so just uh, give me a tick actually uh, cancel that we're not going to do it that way I'm get, I've got the, uh, the eight pieces here I just had a look um, over in the booth where the component drawers are and I've already got drawers for every single one of these types of uh, um, diode so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to uh, pick them off the top here, find the correct drawer, bring the drawer over, and then we can eyeball it and uh, and just see that that uh, which one looks the same. So we're going to start with the IN four zero zero seven. So the IN four o o seven. That's this guy here. Now uh, that's seventy pieces. So this is just without question the one isn't it so um, alright I think I might do the old uh, clean as well uh, maybe I'm not sure I suppose we should clean them uh, okay so um, when the unboxing is all done I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna uh, I won't take the um, I won't take the uh, surface mounts out of their casing but I will take the diodes out of their casing uh, out of their, their tape so uh, I'll do that later on and the next type there is the uh, the IN or the 1N4148 4148, that's what these are so uh, let's roll him up alright, plenty of those and then we've got uh, 5819 5819. Now these are the 5819s. Uh, let's see what they look like. So uh, might as well show you the uh, uh, there we go. Alright, I'll throw you over onto the uh, microscope. And let's just push him up there. So what are we looking at? 5J seems to say, doesn't it? Oh no, 58JH. So what we're looking at? 58JH. So uh, let's see what we can find. Okay, that's the fast recovery one.
this is 58MC 207MIC 539MIC ah. I'm not seeing what I was expecting to see Oh yeah, okay. This is 5819. 5819. Alright, good. 5819. 5819. And then now uh, we've got 5399. So let's just find the 5399. This is the 5399. Looks like maybe these ones. Five three nine nine. Five three nine nine. I'll take that. All right. And then uh, five four oh eight. Uh, five four oh eight. They're monsters. So it's 5408. And this is 5822. This is 5408. 5408. Excellent. And uh, uh, 58. Two, two. Five, eight, two, two. These are uh, uh, shot key rectifiers. Five eight two two. These big monsters up the back here. Five eight two two. All right, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll, I always forget to take the, the microscope off. All right. And then there's two lots of fast recovery, the FR107, so uh, FR107, that looks like the smaller of the lot, let's just check that, FR107, very good, and then last but not least is FR207, and we'll just check, uh, FR207. 207. Very good. All right. Well, that does it. Does it for our um, diode kits. We've scored a little uh, diode container. And put that in the in the container drawers. And what's next? This. Uh, M2 self-tapping screws. Now I uh, I got one of those uh, the other day. Wow, this is a monster. Okay, this is 800 pieces. The M2 screws that I got the other day weren't 800 pieces. I'll show you. There we go. So this M2 was a 500 piece set and it only had uh, four different kinds, five different kinds. Uh, whereas this one's an 800 piece set and it's got uh, 10 different kinds. I'll take that, wonderful. So, uh, yeah, great. It's, uh, it's, it's not actually, it's, uh, it's eight different pieces the the uh, the big 20 mil and 16 mil pieces take up two drawers each. Cool. What's this? Uh, Universal handheld quick stripper. This might be an unboxing uh, uh, 
bit of kit. I don't know. It's not in a, it's not in a fancy box. see what's in this box huh certificate wonderful oh, there's some blades in there all right made in China ELET universal handheld quick stripper so this is uh, a wire wire stripper um, and I'm gonna have to learn how to use it Oh, look at that. That's not good. It's rusty. That's not good at all. So, I don't know how it works. Okay. Okay, so you loosen it there, and you can put that around there, and then you tighten it up. I guess you can tighten it up. And you push down, down, down. Interesting. So you basically um, put the, the wire through and then you pull it through. Okay. Wow. I don't know what that smallest gauge that it's got there is. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, fascinating. And that knife. Okay, that just bolts in. The knife bolts in there. Uh, and it looks like you could probably use half and then flip it around and use the other half later on. But we've got some pretty bad corrosion happening here. So uh, let's see if we can fix up that rust. How do you fix up rust? Do I have to grind it? Maybe I have to grind it. Okay. Well, I think we will have to grind it. Now it came with a bunch of spare blades, so that's something. I uh, I don't know what you'd call those blades if you had to buy new ones. Don't know. There's a little bit of tape on the blade. All right. Well, I suppose it's the Dremel. Well, we don't need the Dremel Dremel. We'll just use the cheapo rotary tool. Uh, we do need a screwdriver to take the blade out. So that's just a single screw straight into the metal. This is a good opportunity to use the old steel magnetic tray. And... Uh, Get the blade out of there as well. Now, what do you suppose that's for? I don't know. Oh, I see. So you can adjust. Ah, very clever. Very clever indeed. All right. Yes, well, it's all f quite adjustable. So there's a there's a stop gap there, and and when it pushes down, it won't go past where you set it there. That's great. But we've got rust everywhere. So how are we going to take this apart to fix it? I guess we could take the front bit off. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to get in everywhere we need to to get the 
the rust off. I'll have to hit it with something. I think I might make a second channel video um, about this. Or even if not a second channel video, at least a, um, a separate video. So uh, let's just put this guy in a project box. And we'll come back to him another day. So uh, just a little uh, bag for the... Uh, well, there's no reason not to put the uh, blade in here. I'll put it around the other way so that I know which one I'm dealing with. And there's the screw for the blade can go in there as well. Uh, yeah, and we won't need the uh, we won't need the baggie. All right, so we'll just keep on keeping on. I'll, I'll come back to this um, in another video. All right, we must be nearly at the bottom of the bag. This one, oh, these are Ethernet cable extenders. So they're just what you'd expect. They're, so you can take run two cables together. That's a good idea. So quite at the end of the thing yet. Oh, I suppose we might as well um, take them all out. So, Ethernet cable extender. This is uh, long handled pens, I believe, for getting in tight spots when you need to mark something. Would have been just the thing to have had when I was doing the uh, install of the new uh, component drawers the other day. I had to use uh, the pliers with my pen in order to reach. Um, but I did reach in the end, so pliers got me there. But I think I'd rather have a long pen, and I believe this is a long pen. Let's see. So, uh, I have no idea what that says. It says down here, long nib marker, long nib marker. Cool. So, are they all the same? I think they are all the same. One, two, three, we've got. All right. So, we do the minimum amount of damage. Looks like it pops open at the bottom here. There we go. I'll be able to file these. Excellent. So, we'll just uh, take him off. There we go. I wonder what it says. It's all in Chinese. <clears throat> Probably just says long nib marker used for marking things. Alright. Alright, we'll put them over there. Now let's have a look at one of these guys. 
so uh, they've put the the uh, the bit that way, which is an interesting choice. And you pop him out. Is he going to come out? There he goes. That's the long nib marker, so you can get in to a small spot and mark. Long nib marker. Everything else is in Chinese. Let's see what it uh, what it looks like. This is the uh, the one from the other day. So uh, let's just write. Uh, oh, it's hard to it's hard to write with. Hold it up here. Uh, long nib. That's good. It draws draws good. I'm happy. Happy customer. All right. Cool. So uh, are we going to keep one here? Why not? I'm getting a bit full actually. I have to cut back on the. Uh, Yeah. Alright, and uh, one extra one, where will we keep him? Up there, how about that? Looks pretty good. Well, we must nearly be at the end. This might be the last thing. No, there's something else. So what is this? Stainless steel corner bits. Alright. So I'm just going to cut out the uh, label for the scrapbook. And what have we got? These are the screws. They look like they're pretty good screws too. They're not cheaper ones like the ones that we got the other day. Oh, look at that. So there's corner plates. T plates, angle plates, okay, very good, all right, now I'll just uh, see what we've got here as well, are a bunch of uh, just smaller little angle things. So those are uh, uh, two, uh, two by two, and this is uh, one by two. Cool. They're looking very similar though, don't they? But I have to say, these screws were shit. Those screws look a lot better. Uh, I'll just check to see how different they are. They might not be very different at all. Very similar. Very, very similar. Similar enough to go together, I think. So, uh, I think we can put all of the screws together. All the screws can go in there. And then all the angle bits can go in there. <clears throat> and what did they call themselves? They called them a uh, corner code, right angle, L shape, black iron, laminate, supporting furniture, connection color. I'm just going to call them angle brackets. Let's call them angle brackets. So, uh, angle uh, brackets. How did we go? Angle brackets. Very good. <sighs> All right. 
Let's put the sticker on the front. And we go and find some way to file these guys. There we go, we've got angle brackets. Wonderful. Uh, and I think this must be the last thing. Oh, no, it's not the last thing. Ah, uh, oh, look at that, more angle brackets. All right. Plastic for the uh, for the scrapbook. And let's see if we can. Oh, what have I done? Oh, that was lucky. Yeah. Lost my uh, my pocket protector. Pop my pocket protector back in. All right, now uh, we're not going to want to keep this bag, so we can cut it. It's going to go in the bin. There we go. So these are just uh, angle bits. They didn't come with uh, screws. No screws for the for these guys. Very good. And we must nearly be at the end, mustn't we? What have we got? Lucky last. What is it? Nano Type C. Must be another Ardu Arduino. And when it says Type C, it's referring to the uh, USB Type C on the top there. So that's a Nano with some uh, some pin headers. Cool. Well, might check to see what what nanos we've already got. I've got all sorts of nanos. So uh, these are nanos, Keywish nanos. Uh, this is the Arduino Uno R3. And these are nanos as well. These are Eligu nanos. And the, uh, the Nano has the 18 Mega 328P. So let's have a look at the, um, the microscope again. Now, what does that say? 328P, Atmel Mega 328P. So that's what's on this Nano. Well. 
heard a bunch of them there. Might as well just put this guy in there with them. They they come with headers as well, so put the headers in there. And we might as well just throw that label in there as well. So they say Eligu Nano, but it's not all Eligu. And we've got these Key, key Wish Nanos as well, so we've got a bunch of Nanos. Very good. What's this? Stainless steel corner bits. Alright, well, I think that concludes the mail call. Uh, these are my various Arduino kits. We've got... Uh, oh, this was not an Arduino. This was an ESP32, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, this was the Leonardo Uno. And then two lots of Nanos. Got a spare bucket. That's good. Spare container. There's the... Uh, the touch screen, 2.5 inch TFT. Now, uh, I'll throw you back over to the. Uh, I'll throw you back over to the uh, to the farewell cam, and we'll wrap this one up. And we're done. Uh, <clears throat> that took a little while, didn't it? I uh, I've been. Uh, uh, talking about you know what my favorite um, part of the, um, the thing uh, was um, but I was pretty happy with everything today uh, I suppose the least interesting thing were the tapes and the nylon washers um, I'm very happy to have more Arduinos so I, uh, I scored there um, the brushes, the great big brushes, those are great, and that they uh, they fit on my uh, cordless drill. The wire cutter, it's a, it's a bit disappointing that it's um, uh, rusty, um, but I guess I'll just sand it back and lube it up and grease it and whatever, and uh, hopefully that'll come good. So we'll, we'll sort that out soon. But yeah, I suppose the Arduinos are my favourite part of this particular kit. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about these sponges. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can use them to wash things or if they're just for padding or, or what they're for. I don't know. Anyway, um, that concludes this video. That was the third uh, bag of stuff from AliExpress. So my cheap stuff from China. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'll be doing a new book teardown for the Electrical Engineering 101 soon. So, uh, uh, thanks very much for watching, and please remember to hit like and subscribe.